Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I was gonna do a video about the SCP-6000 contest ending, but it hasn't officially been announced what the results are, even though they were supposed to be announced at midnight. I mean, th to be fair, the contests never really end on time because, well, they're run by people. It's not like a profession. It's and they're not professionals; they're volunteers, so they get to it when they can get to it. Uh, usually, it's pretty close to on time, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> We talk about staff being and not, not being professionals all day. Uh, <laughs> they're not paid, so they're not professionals. Um, but it's not over. Apparently, there were some shenanigans that went on, and I don't know who won f with 100% certainty yet. I believe it was Rounder House. At the midnight hour, at the point of the contest being over, um... I believe Rounder House was ahead in upvotes over DJ Cactus's entry. Um, however, um, uh, the shenanigans could be involving those two entries. And if they are, they could really jostle things up. Although I believe DJ, DJ Cactus said, regardless of if he wins or not, he didn't want the 6K uh, number. But I'm, again, not putting words in his mouth for that. I, I can't say with any level of certainty that that's still true. And even if it is or isn't, it's up to him to decide even if he says that and then decides to change his mind. Um, but in the end, I don't know who won. I don't have enough information in front of me about that, so I can't make the video I wanted to make. Uh, instead, I was thinking about pitching some, or not pitching, but talking about an idea, a concept, a video idea, or a video series idea that I'm working on. Um, so... I have quite a lot, or at least I like to think I do, quite a lot of pop culture knowledge. And what I don't have uh, readily available in my head, uh, it's pretty easy to find online, you know, this, uh, especially of my own interests. Um, like, my main interests are history, I don't know, nuclear weapons, uh, geopolitics, that kind of stuff. I'm really, really interested in that, like, on the side. Um, but, you know, outside of gaming... Uh, <laughs> But, but another thing, like, I, I pick up pop, I absorb pop culture knowledge like uh, like a sponge. And I've been thinking about how to apply that. I'd love to be able to do stuff like or do deep dives on uh, non-SCP topics. But, of course, that's not what, you're, not what you're here for. So I've been trying to find a way to mix those non-SCP topics with SCP content. And I think, and I don't know for sure... But this is the kind of thing where I can actually ask you. Um, I think I have an idea. Um, and it's similar to... I realized after I'd come up with the idea that it's very similar to something that Sherm does, which is uh, uh, insert pop culture uh, character here isn't an SCP, but if it was, and then he does like a little bit of a deep dive on what it would be if it existed in the SCP universe. Um, I thought about doing something similar. Because my I, I recognize that the idea is very similar to that, but it's basically a versus series. Uh, take an SCP character like SCP. This is the idea I actually had, like SCP six eight two, a well known like you know competitive fighting a, a, a battle bot of its own, um, and uh, pit it up against a powerful uh, superhero, just as an example. Um, my thought was SCP-682 versus Superman, though I'm starting to think, as I deep dive more deeply into 682, uh, that his power level just isn't isn't comparable to Superman. Even modern Superman versus, uh, say, Silver Age Superman. Silver Age Superman is basically God. Uh, <laughs> I believe Silver Age Superman could push planets, for example. Um, so, yeah, I think 682 and Superman might not be a great match, but then again, that in and of, its, in and of itself is its own video and discussion. Just because he's going to lose doesn't mean that it's not, you know, interesting uh, information we can come up with out of it. So that's my idea. That's a series idea that I've been working on, and I actually have a video. I think I'm going to do it by next Thursday, but I want to do some more research and get some more reading done before I'm absolutely sure. Uh <laughs> And I'm sorry to be like, hey, this is an idea I'm thinking about doing. What do you guys think? But I, honest to God, don't have, <laughs> honest to God, don't have anything else prepared for today. 
And I thought, why not? I'll talk to you a little bit about what I have planned uh, going forward. Uh, the channel's doing a little bit better right now, just slightly, <laughs> uh, which is nice. Uh, I think part of it is the length of the videos that I've been doing, and that's, which is funny because I'm pretty sure today is going to be pretty short. Um, but I want to try and get that out of the way. I also, the animation stuff is still coming down the pipe. I have a script written out, um, but I'm still working on like refining it down to something that I actually like. Cause right now I'm a little iffy on it. Um, yeah, that's a content update for the channel, I guess. And a little bit, a few other things, basically asking the question, what do you guys want to see more of? That's actually an even better question. Cause I can tell you what I'm going to do, but why don't you tell me what you want to see more of? And, um, you know, if you see a comment that suggests something that you also would like, give it an upvote and I can, or not upvote, give it a thumbs up, I think in the, a like on YouTube. And, uh, I'll be able to be basically sort things out and be like, this is what most people seem like they would enjoy. The other half of it is I've got to figure out what people who don't watch the channel now want to see because channel growth is incredibly important to channel health. Anyway, that's it, I think. Again, I think this is actually going to come in less than eight minutes, which is annoying uh, for a variety of reasons. But uh, <laughs> you got you got to do what you got to do, right? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Why aren't you hitting the subscribe button already? If you watch my videos and you aren't subscribed, thank you for watching my videos. But what's wrong with you? Do you do you want me to fail? Is that what's happening right now? I don't want to fail. Do you want me to fail? Am I stretching things out a little bit? I think I am. <laughs> hit the subscribe button and uh, then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and hit the hit the what? What am I hit the what? That's weird. And <laughs> pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has including Sinjariki who has pledged at $100. These are the people who by the way like even when ad revenue is going down I can rely on my Patreon backers to make sure that I'm you know going to be able to pay for groceries and stuff. <laughs> Cuz this is my job. This is what I do. And honestly, every time I look at the Patreon backers, it makes me feel good to know that I am not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.